It's not in the program, but we won't tell Mitchell. Good day to sell some Steinbach. <laughs> a little bit more time on my hands because I can't really see anyone until after nine o'clock. So today I'm going to go home and walk my puppy, <laughs> go grab a takeaway coffee, maybe catch a podcast on the walk, and then we're going to head up to the distillery, see the boys, uh, pump out a couple of hours of work there, and then we'll go out on the road and see a few customers, a few Dan Murphys and stuff like that, do some merchandising and just see what's happening out in the field. All right, mate, get into it. Be your right. best, okay? Always. Is your hair... T I've, I've already had a shower. I ran and had a shower today for this, so... Uh, yeah. Don't think I don't listen to you. Well, I'm going to have to go for a run now, because I've always got to be better than you. You look good, bro. Posty! Look at the drink? Yeah, yeah. My uh, videographer with me today. Hello. What's your name? Posty. We get nervous with cameras. <laughs> Where'd you get the hat from? Um, made it. Is that all the colours orders? No. No, yeah. I've done the two other ones. Is that one? I have. A lot of scotch to do as well to add on to all of these. So what's the plan? Um, just gonna log on to the computer, go through my emails and stuff like that, and I'll chat to Tanya, who's our head of admin, see what needs to go out and stuff like that. Call a few people, see if they'll welcome me in today, um, and then we'll go out and visit them. Morning staff. Morning staff. Cut. Don't worry, I'm all. <laughs> the fun way to teach him a lesson. <laughs> what happened? Well, look, look at this, Andrew. Here we have a perfect example of packing a pallet, not straight. Can't see that. Whose fault's that? Well, ultimately, it's somewhat my responsibility. Yeah, I say head of production should be checking this sort of stuff off. But so what's the solution? Repack it. Repack, restack, baby. Stop box drop. But not acceptable, not acceptable, not acceptable. For the sheer fact that it's a machine that takes it off. So and if it shifts slightly it'll just all fall. And if we get a uh, mark against our name, it reflects our ranging as well, so something we need to get right. Just making sure it's not worth that. What? It's not worth that mark. What the mark? We don't want to get a mark? No, we don't want a mark. Oh, I just double, so we should. It's not a gold star, no, it's right? it's not a gold star. <laughs> so let's have a look at our conformance. 10 out of 10, baby. <laughs> Mitchell, you're lucky. <laughs> we're, we're sitting at green, we're 10 out of 10. We're good. Yeah, but that's up until now. Steinbach's got a, a rich history, which is what we're telling right now, the story with this video series, but we want to stay authentic to who we are. Um, I think it's important the story of this brand's evolution is 
one of the best I've ever heard. So um, I'm honoured to be a part of it, and I think that's a that's a big thing we're going to focus on moving forward. And we've engaged with the marketing agency that are going to run a service to help us progress to the next level. And the main thing we want to do is stay authentic to who we are. And I think they'll bring that to life um, for people out in the public to realise that we are sort of a family-run business, um, not a big multinational company. And I think that story's got, got something to it. And I think people buy based off trust rather than whether it be aesthetics of a bottle and stuff like that. So that's the main direction we're going in our marketing is an authentic approach because that's who we are. And I think that's our best asset as a company, so. That's the main thing, obviously checking to see how sales are tracking in that particular store, work on strategies about how we can improve it if it needs to be improved, whether it be through tastings or off-location displays. Um, we've also got the ability to chat to the store managers about discretionary ranging, which could see them uh, pull in any of our products that we've got available. So uh, they know best what their clientele needs and. Hopefully it's a few more Starbucks products in store. Just gonna head back to home for a couple of probably about an hour. Um, jump on, do some emails. I want to have a structured plan to go into my day tomorrow. I'm gonna head to Maitland, so uh, I'll try and get a few meetings and schedule a run, and then I go out again this afternoon and try and catch people who are on the afternoon shift. Uh, and then yeah, aim to wrap up about five o'clock, and we're off to footy training tonight. So big day, but. That's how we love it. Catch ya. <laughs>